Hey everybody, Flubier Collector here. Gonna do a quick uh, walkthrough of my man cave. Got my feature wall. Uh, nice full-size Cubs logo on the back wall, pinstripes and all. Uh, took me a good while to paint that, um, but uh, that was a fun project. Uh, I'll do a quick little tour here and then hopefully as time goes on I'll make more specific uh, videos on different areas if people want to comment and ask about things then maybe I can do some separate videos on certain things um, I don't collect just baseball cards and and that uh, my main uh, collection initially kind of started uh, with Smurfs and so I actually have six cabinets with mirror backs that have all Smurf figurines each shelf holds about 20 20 Smurfs, so there's about 140 I think it is per cabinet. Uh, the neat thing about these cabinets is they were actually made, uh, at least the, the doors on them were made from the original windows that we pulled out and replaced with new windows in the house that we live in. So we just uh, saved those, stuck them up in a barn, and, and uh, I had laid these plans out for these cabinets and my dad saw them and I was asking about them and I said, well, I want to make these cabinets to display my Smurfs out in the, out in the cub house. And so anyway, he and a buddy of his kind of took that and they repurposed the windows um, and made made the cabinets. Down here, I got some Duff beer cans. Uh, if anybody knows Duff beer, it's from The Simpsons. This particular Duff beer uh, came from Australia. Uh, I think this Lion Nathan or Nathan Lion Brewery, uh, they illegally produced these beers and got in a legal battle with uh, the maker of The Simpsons and uh, The Simpsons won. They had to stop production of the beer cans and then um, basically were ordered to destroy everything. And But they had already been out in the market. So you can still find them, but they are fairly rare and I had picked up, uh, picked up a case of them and I still obviously still have them. Um, so, sign that was given to me by a, a, a close friend of mine so when it gets closer to baseball season come out there and set the days hours and minutes till the Cubs opening day over here in the corner got that's not an uh, original that's just a replica be alert for foul balls uh, uh, common sign if you've ever been to Wrigley Field down in the lower concourse area They've got those in there just telling people to be alert for foul balls that come down into the concourse Got my three-foot Jake Arrieta um, A friend of mine at, uh, Where I work actually discovered this on uh, Amazon and If you've ever seen these uh, people are typically asking for upwards of $800 and, and above for these three foot bobbleheads. Well, he got his for $17. Somebody was selling it, and I got mine for $21. Couldn't couldn't believe it, and it came legit. Uh, there is some slight damage at the bottom, uh, bottom of it, but that's, that's about the extent of it. And I was talking to a guy at the Chicago Sport, uh, or the Chicago Sports uh, Spectacular here recently about it, and he didn't believe me, and I actually had to pull up my Amazon <laughs> receipt to uh, to show him and he said you've got an amazing deal and I said yeah pretty pretty uh, feel pretty pretty uh, fortunate here's kind of the area where the kids have designated for us to do some pack rips and things like that most of those boxes there are filled with cards we haven't ripped them open yet some we probably won't some are just boxes left over just for aesthetics um, Got uh, kind of a little tchotchke cabinet. Nothing of high value, but just neat little things we put in there just to look at. Over here is a display cabinet for different uh, things. I've got some Depar Department 56 uh, City Series pieces in the top, top row. Uh, they made four, I believe. Ebbets Field, which I have there on the left. Wrigley Field, which is in the center. And over to the right is the old Comiskey Park where the Chicago White Sox played. Um, and they do make a Yankee Stadium. I just haven't uh, picked that one up yet. I believe Wrigley's the one that's uh, the most valuable. Uh, I'm not sure. Ebbets and um, where the Brooklyn Dodgers played. And um, 
Yankee Stadium, I think, are probably the next uh, most valuable, and then Comiskey. And then in front row, all those bobbleheads, those are from uh, uh, Funko, um, or for, excuse me, for, uh, Forever Collectibles. Um, they made championship series bobbleheads for the 2016 Cubs, and so um, I've got all of them but Fowler, but Fowler's on its way. And uh, that will complete the, the set of the individual pieces. They did make a few uh, multiple pieces, uh, one of which I have, which is a Chris Bryant pulling a wagon with a championship ring, probably a MVP or award or something like that in the wagon. And then there's another one uh, with Dexter, or not Dexter, sorry, um, David Ross being held up on shoulders. And then there's a Kyle Schwarber, Anthony Rizzo combination holding the uh, uh, popular Cubs win flag. Um, so then there's some just some signed uh, memorabilia um, baseballs. I'm slowly acquiring uh, all the Cubs 2016 uh, World Series players and trying to get them on a, a, a baseball. Uh, so just kind of doing that. I don't know, maybe. A little under halfway there, I think. And then down below are my uh, Cubs season ticket holder uh, boxes. We've been season ticket holders since 2014, so I actually picked up uh, some of the earlier ones. I think it goes back to maybe 2011, something like that, give or take a year. So those are uh, what the Cubs season tickets uh, come into, season ticket holders. And then I've got different uh, pieces. This particular one uh, was from an uh, uh, artist that uh, did uh, the comic, I think it's called The Shoe. Um, and his name McNally, I think is his last name. Uh, it's Hope Springs Eternal. And we've got a Rothwell, I believe it is, a reprint of something that was uh, on a, a magazine cover. I just can't remember all the details. I meant to look it up before I made this video to remind myself, but I just I've lost it in the details. We got the Cubby Springtime Vigil, and that's about the truth of it. Never, you've never been cold until you've tried to sit at a Cubs game in April, especially in the upper deck. And we got an Ernie Banks uh, PSA DNA authenticated uh, autograph. Another little piece here, I got just a little mini can collection. It's not going to go any bigger than this. Just the different beer cans. I'm tempted to just fill the case with sports related ones, specifically Cubs. I've got uh, uh, others here. Um, Coors, uh, Willie McCovey, Roberto Clemente, Ernie Banks, Babe Ruth, uh, Carlton Fisk, and Kurt Gibson. And some of the old Iron City hockey things. I got a Bears one, Blackhawks. So just a neat little thing. Uh, a good friend of mine, actually the same guy that gave me the, the countdown sign, he collects uh, beer cans. And so that's kind of a piece in here that connects me with him. Uh, this particular poster, the 2014 uh, Stars of the Game Limited Edition. Um, it was a giveaway actually for people that spent over, I don't know what it was, $200 at the gift shop at Rigby Field. And uh, I go in fairly regularly, so the gals uh, there actually held one back for me. Uh, I typically never spend $200 at a time, but I pick up scorecards. Um, and so they held one back. And over here we've got uh, a giveaway that was, uh, I think, for a family day in 2014. Um, 2014 was the uh, 100 years of Rigby Field, and then uh, two years later it was the uh, 100 years of the Chicago Cubs. Uh, and so anyway, the, this particular one has uh, pictures of uh, the scorecards uh, for those uh, 100 years. Uh, so it's kind of a neat, uh, neat thing to look at. So... Um, so then this mess here, this is my big project that I've been undertaking that's consumed uh, the, the better part of my time um, outside of work and whatnot, uh, and then baseball for the kids. Um, I'm going through and essentially getting all of my uh, sports card collection 
uh, in poly sleeves and then Hall of Famers and key rookies and cards that you know have meaning to me um, I'm uh, uh, putting them in card saver ones so these here are all done logged um, I'm through almost all makes and models and all whatnot of 1986 going back as early as I want to say 57 um, so that's uh, sitting on my uh, ping pong table which was my grandfather's so it's boys keep asking if I could clear it off so that they could play ping pong but unfortunately that's just not a possibility just yet but um, so and then in the back room here is just kind of the general storage area um, you got some filing cabinets here that uh, uh, keep miscellaneous Cubs things but primarily this is where I house my uh, uh, scorecard collection uh, so since I've been a season ticket holder at the Cubs uh, I've pulled uh, at least one um, in most cases I think three and then recently just six I grab uh, six scorecards from each game and they're color-coded so yellow is 2016 red is 2015 green is 2017 and then on the bottom shelf here is 2018 which is a work in progress um, so so anyway just keeping keeping scorecards for each uh, each game and that's what's nice I don't actually get into every single series but uh, uh, the the folks at this uh, gift gift shop they uh, they hold them back for me and then I come in uh, and pick them up so that way I can get out of every series and then up up here um, pretty much is all the the rest of my cars here so a lot of these here these are late 90s that basically uh, order that I'm going to show here is night the early 90s and then going uh, to older cards so I've got a lot more of the factory sets at that point in time then around uh, 89 is when I stopped buying you know individual cards um, so I got some sets and then just some some marketers but I have a whole boatload of 87 tops um, and that's what's coming up next so I think I don't know why I don't even remember how many I had of the 86 tops but I've probably got four to five times the number of 87 tops and 86 tops took me a good while to get through um, and then over here in these are the actual boxes of the card saver ones but in each side of of these is loaded up and in this particular box we've got uh, 86 tops football and in this particular one I've got uh, 190 through 367 so eventually I'll be putting them into the uh, shoe boxes like that um, but this is what I was doing first in terms of getting them into the card saver ones. Uh, but eventually they'll all be um, inventoried in the storage boxes and uh, uh, organized. And then up here in the top, I've got uh, like any of the SGA or the standard giveaway items at the Wrigley Field. When I go, I pull pull them out so I've got pretty much every bobblehead that the Cubs have given away at the stadium or Wrigley Field um, since I've been a season ticket holder and pretty much inventory the outside of the box so I know what's in there and um, so anyway uh, there's some loosey gooseys that are just a mix mash I'm trying to deal with those as I can but those are all as you can see um, late 80s and then early early 90s stuff so anyway I uh, hope you enjoyed a little snapshot into my cub house um, if you see anything you like or you want to know more about or uh, have me put more attention to in another video by all means um, just skim through it there uh, it's a work in progress and I continue to get uh, cleaned up a little bit more each and every time I come out here and today's no different. So anyway, uh, have yourselves a great day, be safe, and uh, we'll talk again soon.